Hi, this is Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. Today in this video, we're going to wrap up everything in our bathroom remodel except for tiling the shower. I bought this fuse at Liquid Nails. It says it's for all surfaces, including most plastics. I got a new gun. All right, I think we're good enough. So the access panel there, for now I just painted it white, but I'm gonna build some sort of a door that you can open and close that looks nice. I wanna keep access to the shower. So I got the light fixture all cleaned up. I got the walls painted. One to two coats of primer, depending on the wall. And then I have one coat of a top coat. So besides shimming the top of this vanity, we did paint the face of the vanity with the Sherwin-Williams emerald paint. We decided to finish everything in the bathroom before I tile the shower. And then I've got my little wall here on the edge, right, see if I can find it right here. Did quite a bit of drywall work, looks pretty good. Besides the edge, we did do this side here, some drywall work there, and did paint it. Wasn't sure what to do if we were going to replace the door, yep. so probably going to paint this or put on a new door. We still have to figure out the backsplash there. We want like about a three inch backsplash. I don't know if I want a piece of wood that's painted white or to have it stain like the butcher block countertop. And then the other thing, we didn't put the mirror up yet because the mirror, well, it works really well and what we have is nice. It has a little bit of aging, but we're just not sure if we want to put on a bigger mirror that covers it all up or just keep the mirror here-ish. And then if we want to put some shelves here, like maybe two shelves, three shelves for towels, because as you know, we removed the cabinet from here and it's just so much more open and spacious when you come in. It just gives a really, it's a big bathroom now that it's white and kind of emptied out. All right, I borrowed my neighbor's caulk gun. I've been to the store so many times. So we're just gonna put some silicone caulk on here. It doesn't take too much. Oh my, you wanna give me a hand? You guys wanna come up? Oh. We're putting a countertop on. Okay, oh my, and then we gotta kinda set it on. Are you able to kind of set it very gently at the back? You got it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Will she go back? She might. Oops. Okay. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? But I can fit right through that. <laughs> you could. It can get okay. a little crazy in here. Yeah. So these cabinet drawer faces and also the door here have been curing for a couple weeks so now they can be handled. I'm going to put the hardware on. Good idea to wash your hands, get them nice and clean, get the oils off. Get yourself a real nice screwdriver that fits them real well. I'm just drilling through the paint. Paint. So this is why you save all your old hardware until you're finished with the project. Because when we bought the new handles, the screws are too short. So I can reuse the older ones here. If I had to do this all over again, I would have just put tape here, painter's tape. I would have kept these faces on and just painted them. Um, they're kind of a bear to get on just the right way. There we go.
So we just want to make sure it's straight on here and we'll just tighten up this nut now. I like the fit though. Thanks. Oh, I'm getting pretty cold. Is that okay if I go get a blanket? Sure. Okay. Thank you. water for 15 seconds and you're supposed to run the hot water for 15 seconds. So now I'm supposed to put the aerator back in and then tighten it back up. There it's tight. the baseboard and the shoe up. I switched out the vent from an 18 inch to a 15 inch. Just looks a little nicer now. It's new. Minus tiling the shower, here is our remodeled bathroom with a clean, bright, and spacious vibe. Please consider subscribing to our channel Silver Lining Daydreams and thanks for watching. Hey, Oma. Hey, Oma. Look at her go. Oh, <laughs> my